going on everyone welcome back to the channel today we're in Gettysburg Pennsylvania and in this specific video we're going to talk about the peach orchard let's begin Welcome to Joseph Scherfe's Peach Orchard. As Gettysburg would later call it, the Peach Orchard. A lot of things happened here. A lot of things that had to do with Dan Sickles happened right here. So, back in the year 1863, obviously the battle happened July 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Um, you know, before then, in June, this was just another family in Pennsylvania, another farming family that had their fields, they had their peach orchard. But then on July 1st, that would all change when the Battle of Gettysburg started. And yes, if you look, these are actually like dried up peach uh, cores. There it is. So on the first day of battle, July 1st, General Dan Sickles of the Union Army rode up and approached the town of Gettysburg. Maybe even rode up on this road straight ahead, who knows. But on the first day of battle, the raised peach order orchard catches his eye. And General Dan Sickles thinks, hmm, this would be a great spot to have our battle. On the morning of July 2nd, Dan Sickles, who was not a professional soldier, by the way, he was a politician. He originally positioned himself about a mile away with General Meade to begin the second day of battle. The problem was where they were, you couldn't really see anything from there. Now there's, there's two big mistakes Dan Sickles is going to make at the Peach Orchard here. One, uh, first of all, he, in his mind, he thinks this is a great spot for the Union Army to line up. But I mean, as you can see, there's literally like no cover at all. Yeah, you, you know, maybe you have the high ground a little bit, but besides the trees, there's really no cover. There's no rocks to hide behind. It's not like deeper woods or rock areas where we'll see like a little, little round top. So the cover's not so good. Second of all, he's going to make a mistake and push his line forward which just doesn't work out well for him. Against Meade's orders, Sickles is going to move his third corps too far forward. This will then fracture the fish hook and leave the flanks exposed. This could possibly cost the Union the battle and maybe even the war. So it's about 6 p.m. when the Confederates will charge Dan Sickles and then that will be the end of his his line right here. right here I mean it does it looks like all open fields but there's so much going on here so next we're gonna go check out the Sherfy farm which is right over yonder that way you have so many fields up there little round tops over that way down the road is the wheat fields Devil's Den which will be coming up in other videos and here we are at the peach orchard We've made our way over to the Sherfy farm. So this house right here has a lot of history and we're gonna talk about it. We've made our way over to the Sherfy house. So these were the owners of the peach orchard where we just were, but there's a lot that happened here. This was a typical home of people in the town of Gettysburg. And just like others, they were caught in the middle of the battle. So the left side would have, you would have had the Confederates coming from this side, actually straight ahead that tower right there. I think that's Longstreet's lookout, General Longstreet on the Confederate side. 
So you would have had Confederates coming from the left. You would have had Union troops coming from the right. And literally their house just happened to be smack in the middle. So every choice, every family in Gettysburg, they had a choice whether they should stay or go. The, the Sherfies decided to stay. And this house had a lot of battle damage that is still there to this day. Probably go and get a better look right now. I don't know the story, but just based off this statue, I'm guessing this soldier Collis, I'm not even sure how to pronounce his last name, but it said killed, killed and wounded. Wounded and killed, I guess, right here. So I guess that's why they have this kind of blocked off what would have happened right here in front of the house. So if you look closely at the house, you could still see there's still <laughs> bullet holes. Wow, like all through the side of the house, the front of the house. That's crazy. So a pretty crazy story about the Sherfies. So they decided to stay uh, in the house, even though the battle was going on around them. On the second day of the battle, they were, I believe Sherfie's mother-in-law was in the kitchen. A bullet goes through the house, miraculously does not hit her. It goes through her dress and <laughs> falls on the floor and she picks the bullet up and sticks it in her pocket. And it was at that point, the Sherfie said, all right, we need to, to move on. So they moved on. Um, however, everything in their house was taken. The barn that's directly behind us right here, this uh, burned down. Everything in their house was gone. So it was pretty crazy what they came back to, which was pretty much almost nothing. They like had to start over. But there's a kind of creepy, crazy story that has to do with this barn too. So let's talk about that next. Now this barn that's next to the Sherfy house, the top is not original. The bottom is though, but the top burns. And this was kind of used for a field hospital uh, during those three days. But unfortunately for the Confederates, the top half of the barn burned and there was a few Confederates that were trapped inside. And unfortunately you can kind of tell what happened next, but yeah, happened right here. Now the Confederates that did die in the barn. Um, if you go to the National Cemetery here at Gettysburg, there's uh, a few, uh, technically there's a bunch, there's a bunch of unknown marked graves at the cemetery. And a few of them are from the soldiers that were burned, passed away right here. So if you look straight ahead, that is where we just were, the Sherfy farm and the Sherfy house. And then right down the road, this is the Abraham Trossel farm. So this would have served as Dan Sickles' command post where he would have been watching the battle at the Peach Orchard. And I believe up there where that marker is, and we'll go check it out soon, is where Dan Sickles would have been shot off his horse and wounded. Wow, so this would have been the farm back in the day. And actually, this is one of the things I really wanted to see. They show you in the photo. Uh, Confederate artillery tore a hole in the barn. And this was the cannonball. And then in real life, there it is today. Look at that. And it's pretty cool straight ahead we could in the distance kind of get an idea where the wheat fields and devil's den was but here's the farm today <laughs> i do enjoy that the parks keep you know this up and it's kind of crazy too i mean once upon a time this would have been filled obviously with animals, pigs, cows, goats, and uh, then the war came and the battle came and that would have been the end of that. Right about here, Dan Sickles would have been on his horse, right? The peach orchard is directly 
that way. As you can see, that's pretty much where we just were. But Dan Sickles would have been here at his command post on the horse, observing the battle from afar. And then somehow a piece of artillery comes flying over this way. Sickles gets knocked off his horse. And where this marker is right here, this is the exact spot where Dan Sickles would have been wounded, shot in the leg, and later I'll add a photo in now, but he would have ended up getting his leg amputated. So right here, this is where it would have happened with the peach orchard in the background. Here we go. Major General Daniel Sickles, wounded July 2nd, 1863. Like I said he would have been on his horse and fell right here. And to give you a better shot where he would have fell, his command post right here at the McPherson farm. And then the peach orchard straight ahead that way. Well, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for the Peach Orchard video. One of many here for myself in the town of Gettysburg, touring the battlefields here today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out my Gettysburg series. The playlist will be down below. Videos will be coming out at separate times, so stay tuned for the future. Go check out the past ones. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you all next time on the Travel Channel.